All right, I would like to acknowledge also the owner of this um, slide. This is from SlideShare made by Dance Magdaraog. Thank you for sharing your slide tungkol sa kabihas ng Minoan at my senior. Okay, so ang kabihas ng Minoan as mentioned, ito ay ang pinakaunang uh, kabihas nan sa Greece. Okay, so ang kabihas ng Minoan ay ang Bronze Age Greece. Okay, ito yung mga pinakaunang tao na namuhay sa bansang Greece. Okay, and they were also, they were able to develop their uh, culture. They were able to develop culture, business, tradition. Kana, the country tradition ang mga Greeks. Okay. Una, una natin talakayin ang kapihas ng Minoan. M-I-N-O-A-N. Minoan from the word Minos. Si Haring Minos na ipinangalan sa kanyang karangalan. Okay? Ang unang sibilisasyon ng bansang Grecia or Greece ay lumitaw sa isla ng Crete sa pagitan ng 3000 at 2000 BCE. Okay. So the first civilization that emerged from Greece is located in Crete and Aegean Sea around 3000 to 2000 BCE. And that is the Minoan civilization. Okay? The Minoan civilization is um is named after King Minos. Okay? Siya si Haring Minos na sinasabing naghari noon doon. Okay? Si Haring Minos ay maikukumpara natin sa ating um, sa Diyos na si Zeus. Okay? Si Minos daw ay may sa kanyang katawan ay may ahas na sumisimbolo sa pagiging makapangyarihan. Okay? So this is the image of Minos. Okay? So let's go to geography of uh Min, uh, Minoan civilization. So again, ang um, Minoan civilization ay um, pinakakaraan ng Greece na matatagpuan sa pagitan ng Aegean Sea at sa Crete. Ito. Aegean Sea sa right side, Crete, mo ni siya. Okay. Ang mga ninuno ng taga Crete ay nanggaling sa Anatolia at Syria. So it was believed that people from Minoan civilization are from Asia sa sa Turkey sa sa I mean sa Anatolia sa Ottoman Empire. Sila ay magagaling na mandaragat at dumating sa Crete sa pagitan ng 4000 at 3000 BCE. Taka lang. Okay. All right. So again, um, Minoans are known to be uh, fisher folks. They are also known to be traders to other civilizations in Asia and Northern Africa, especially in Egypt. Okay. So okay, ang ilang kabisera class or the capital of Minoan civilization is ang Gnosis. K-N-O-S-S-O-S. -S -S. Okay. Si Arthur Evans, isang English na archaeologo or isang British na archaeologist na nagsas, nagsagawa ng paghukay noong 1899 sa Gnosis. So, Arthur Evans was able to excavate some evidence of uh, especially artifacts that was um, known in the land of Gnosis. Okay? He was able to excavate some important artifacts that was used by people in uh, Minoan civilization. Okay. Gnosis, isang matandang lugar na nabangkit ng bantog na manunulat na si Homer sa kanyang mga akdang Iliad and Odyssey. Okay, so to give you a perspective about Iliad and Odyssey, it is a an epic, an epic uh, legend about um, a certain um, a certain man mandirigma. Say English, ganon sa mandirigma. A certain fighter named Achilles and 
I forgot the other one, was that they were able to fight uh, creatures, my ancient creatures like Minotaurs. Okay, so Sa Iliad and Odyssey, it talks about different struggles, okay, in his journey. All right, so another uh, another naiambag is ang fresco, okay, mga larawa mabilisan subalit bihasang ipininta sa mga dingting na basa ng plaster upang kumamit ng gusto sa pader ang mga pigment at metal. Okay, so basically we can um we can conclude that those people live in minoan civilization are into art uh into business or trading and they are into literature okay so ingana uh they are more into they uh what do you call this life or daily art because yung kanila mga paintings the way they portray their daily life is also objectified in painting. Okay? Kana mga labas sila, mang mamananak or mang sasaka, yung pagtatanim, kana mo na ilang, ilang subject sa ilang painting. Okay? Ang painting nato karon sa postmodern civilization karon is more on digital art, calligraphy, more on um, artistic personification sa ila class during sa Minoan civilization they are more into kana bitong daily lives art kung sila lang ginabuhat sa pang-adlaw-adlaw mo na ilang painting di ba makarelate mo ana sa inyo SPA sa SPA you are more into modern arts and yung sa classical naapo mo classical music naapo mo kanang sa dance kana sa ila po Naagihapon na siya sa Minoan civilization. But they are more into simple art. Okay? Mo pa may pagsugod. Wala pa may advanced technology nga nilang nahimo. But they were able to create something from nothing. Okay? O sa may example na na, ang ilang mga paint is made of fresh blood from animals, um, mga extracts from flowers and plants, mga lead, mga white lead, nga na muna ilang mga ginagamit na ingredients para sa paggawa ng fresco painting. Okay? So, nga na, very important sa ilang culture ang art because it depicts of who they are, those people nga nagpuyo sa Minoan civilization. Okay. So, tinagurian din ang mga tao sa Minoan civilization na mga builders, mga architects, dahil gumawa sila ng mga uh, mga malalaking palasyo, tulad nito, isang ruin ng mga uh, magagarang palasyo na na tinitingnan bilang mga templo or mga simbahan ng kanilang mga Diyos at Diyosa. Okay? Minoans are known to be the authors of the God. Kaya ito mga ancient gods sila Zeus, isa ba sa mga, sila Aphrodite. Sorry class, I'm not really, I'm not really into um, ancient kanang Roman civilization nga gods, but if you're familiar with kuan kanang, kanang sila Aphrodite, sila Merc, sila Apollo, kana sila na sila gikan. Okay? Alright. So, Minoans built a large civilization on the island of Crete that flourished from around 2,600 BC to 1,400 BC. They built a powerful and long-lasting civilization based on a strong navy and trade throughout the Mediterranean Sea. Okay? The Minoans had their own written language, which archaeologists call Linear A. Okay, so ipakita na ko sa inyo ha. Okay, babalik muna tayo sa Tagalog na version. Ang kabisera ng kabihas ng binowan ay ang nosos. Matatagpuan ang sa hilagang bahagi ng pulo. Lahat ng daan sa Crete ay nagtatapos sa nosos. Ang iba pang mahalagang lugar ng kabihas ng minowan sa Crete ay Phasos, Gornia, Malia at Hagia Triadha. Okay, basically this part of slide talks about the city states that was that were uh, established in Minoan civilization okay so like other civilization that emerged in asia and in africa meron din sila mga lungsod estado they have also city states okay 
during Bronze Age, they were able to establish big cities. And those big cities have larger populations as well. Okay? And again, I would like to point out that Minoans are great traders during Bronze Age. All right. So, okay. Dinata, um, are you familiar with Minotaur, so Mobile Legends? Okay, I used to play Mobile Legends, but now there's Wild Rift. I play Wild Rift na. Din ako ganahan sa Mobile Legends. Okay, that's my honest kwan. I, I hope you will not hate me for hating Mobile Legends. But anyway, if you're familiar with online games na agad ng mga ancient creatures like Minotaur, na po na ata siya sa War of Warcraft, kay kwan man siya half human half um half half bull so nga na kana sila ginagamit na sila sa mga online games because they are known to be the strongest um creatures that would beat other humans that will um fight them so nga na minotaurs are known to be support sa mobile legends naapod si alistar sa wild river sa league of legends okay minotaur Isang dambuhala na may ulo ng toro at katawang tao. Ito ay naninirahan sa silong ng palasyo ng Nosos kung saan maraming mga sangasangang pasilyo. So basically, Minotaur is, an, uh, is a mythical creature that has big body, half human, half bull, that protects the palaces located in Nosos. Okay? So basically, this particular creature is one of the many creatures that can be read in the legends of the Minoans, okay? Or also in the one of the ancient creatures believed by uh, people during the Minoan civilization. That clearly depicts that yeah, they are into literature good. They are more into art, okay? And Minotaur is one of the manifestations of their art good. Okay. So again, I, I was able to mention the linear A. Okay? The system of writing of Minoan civilization was called by scientists linear A. And I will show you the differences of linear A and linear B. Okay. Noong hukay ni Evans ang palasyo ng Nosos, marami siya natapu ang lapida na gawa sa luwal. So uh, Evans is a scientist slash archaeologist from uh from britain and he was able to excavate some evidences and one of which is a stone tablet that he called linear a so ang linear a ang sistema ng pagsulat ng mga minoans okay next is if michael ventris is a cryptologist as si john chadwick is a classical sco scholar pinatunayan nila na ang linear a ang sistema ng pagsulat ng mga minoan Basically, class, okay, ano na siya ha? I would like to clarify. Ang linear A, wala ta kabalo kung sa gipangalan yun, kung sa gipangalan sa mga minowan sa ilang sistema ng pagsulat. But those archaeologists that was able to excavate those stone tablets, muna yun ang gipangalan, linear A o linear B. Okay. Ang linear A, ang sistema ng pagsulat ng mga minowans, Ang linear B naman ay sistema na pagsulat ng mga Mycenians. Okay, let me show you how... Actually, class, no, pare-pareha gano'n siya. Linear A and B. Okay, so according to Wikipedia, mo niya ako nakuha ng resources, ha? You can search it anyway. You have your... You have internet. But anyway, let me explain. Linear A script is like this. Okay, if I were to describe it... Um, the, the letters, no, the symbols in this stone tablet is more, is bigger, okay? It's bigger and it has defined or distinct good nga mga square-ish nga symbols, okay? And in linear B, okay, pakit ang tama sa linear B, ang gigamit sa mga Mycenians, ang linear B, it's more defined. I would say, closest to ro uh, Greek no words, but it's still not as defined as the Greek uh, letters, okay? But I believe, class, I believe that the Mycenaeans linear B alphabet was uh, flourished later on sa mga Greeks during the Hellenic period. Okay, dirigi ka ng ilang alphabet. 
kanin sa linear B nga Mycenaean right system of writing. Okay? So asa pa man nato pwede makita ni siya nga kuan murag familiar man kayo ni siya nga system of writing. Uh, were you able to kuan are you familiar with the cuneiform class? Asa gani di ka ng cuneiform? Oy, 10 points. Panubag pud mo. <laughs> class? Hello. Napa ko dia or wala na ko diri ako sig ako ra diri Okay. Do you remember asa gikan ang cuneiform? Sa Mesopotamia. Yes, very good. Kinsa ni next story? I will give you 10 points. Nahera, ma'am. Nahera, very good nahera. 10 points for you. So, ko inyo nabantayan class, ang system of writing is halos magkakatulad lamang sa Mesopotamia, sa Egypt or sa Minoan or Mycenaean civilization. Bakit? As mentioned, di ba, di ba, naana sa ilan na pakikipagkalakalan, pag, paglalakbay sa ibang lugar. Kaya kanin manggun sila nga mas civilization kasi halos dungan-dungan na manggun ni siya o pagkabuo. And I believe, this is just my theory ha, this is from, this is my own opinion. They were able to share their system of writing because they were able to trade overseas. Nga na. So, patingan mo, ma'am, nga nung pariparihan mo, ma'am, pwede mo sila magsulat o papel. Because, again, as mentioned, these civilizations emerged during Bronze Age. At sa Bronze Age, natutunan nilang gumamit ng bato bilang kasangkapan. O kung sa may mas minakasayo ni Moon, di ba, sa mga stone tablets or mga clay tablets. So, yan na. Very related to kayo ilang ang ilang civilization, ang ilang culture. Okay. I would say no culture is alike, but they are almost related. Although they have their unique, uh, they have their unique, what do you call this? They have their unique um, features. They have also their uh, related features. Halos magkakatulad namang sila. Okay, balikan natin yung slide. So next, ang kalakalan sa iba yung dagat. So muna ni siya, dirigyo ng akong kuan kay ang animal siya class ang Mesopotamia Minoan civilization halos kadungan na magina sila especially ang Minoan o ang Egypt kana pare-pareha gina sila o nga umusbong during atong nga time sa Bronze Age okay ang mga taga Crete ay may mga produktong maaring ipagbili sa ibang lugar gaya ng palayok na gawa sa luwad Ang, at mga sandata na gawa sa panso. Okay, so basically, those people living in Crete were able to create um, things such as pottery that was made from clay and also weapons made of bronze. So again, di ba, very ko ang kaayo ang akong gisulting nga gikan sa Bronze Age because during Bronze Age, they were able to make weapons from bronze or tanso or nickel, or other kanang mga minerals. Okay? Ipinagpapalit nila ang mga ito para sa ginto, pilak, butil, at butil na pagkain. So basically, their trading focuses on minerals, food, yes, nga na, and even weapons. Okay. Ang mga produktong pangkalakal ng Crete ay nakarating sa iba pang pulo sa Aegean Sea, sa Greece, sa Cyprus, sa Syria, at sa Egypt. So again, di ba? Their, culture, their cultures are related because they were able to travel from one place to another. And I would say my theory is right. <laughs> okay. So again, nakafocus ang ang Ang, ang kultura na minuwan sa kaninang sining. Art sa Tagalog is sining. Okay? Ang sining ng pagpipinta ay ipinakita ng mga minuwan sa dalawang larangan. Sa mga fresco at mga palayo. Okay? As mentioned earlier, di ba ningong ko, ang ilang art, ang ilang subject silang art is ang ilang daily life. And one example of this is kaning bull dancing. Because we all know nga ka, during po sa Minoan civilization, diri po mas ni ko ang pag-aalaga ng hayop. So, 
yung ibang tao sa Minoan civilization, they were able to paint the way they care and also the way they cult, uh, the way they care for their livestock. Na. So, mori ang bull dancing, example sa ilang painting. Imahe na madalas inilalarawan ng mga fres ng mga fresco ng mga Minoan. So, I would analyze this painting as the way they take care of their livestock, especially kana mga mga toro. Okay? So, mga tao sa una, instead of painting, katong Mona Lisa, dili pa na sila nga na ilang, ang ilang gusto nga i-subject sa ilang painting is ang ilang daily life. Okay? So, interrelated yung siya kaayo class. Okay. So, kani class, um, this picture, I forgot that the name of this picture, but this picture is made of extracted juice from plants, flowers, fruits, mga white lead, and also blood of animals. So, gihimo na siya as pigment. Mo na lang gigamit for painting. Unlike now, di ba, inyong gamitin, katong digital art, you can use iPad or katong Wacom ng mga pencil. We can use uh, color um, sa atong laptop. We can paint, di ba? Sa una class, very primitive git kayo lang painting. They use any materials that they can find in their surroundings. Wag ba mas na technology nga advanced good kayo compared sa ato now. But, I believe, class, these people from Minoan civilization, uh, they were able to pass this sa mga Greek, sa mga Greek nga hilig po kay painting, and even eventually sa Rome po, lahi po na sa Rome yung civilization. They were able to um, have this trait from the Minoan and the uh, Minoan civilization, nakuha nila ni nga trait. Okay, they were able to practice it and flourish it and pass it to their um, pass it to their successors. Okay, ma'am, for me, especially saying you know, SPA, you are more into art. Ma'am, why is art related to history? Because art is an evidence that those people lived long time ago. Without art. We won't know what will be the root of our lives. Wala ta kabalok unsay unsay kuan dili na to may skutan ang mga may sinyan ug mga minowans karon nga panahon na. So importante gyud ang art sa atong life because it gives meaning and also it traces back to our roots. And I believe minowans uh minowans important um important contribution in the world is their art, especially in painting and literature. Okay, so next. So, di ba na natutunan natin na mga tao sa Minoa Civilization ay gumawa ng mga, na mga, uh, ano ito, tawa dito, yung mga, hello, 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 madungan ko ninyo? <laughs> madungan ko ninyo? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Sige, let's go back yes, to your topic. Asa na tayo to? Okay. So, dito, tinanggap ng mga Minoa ng influensya ng Egypt Again, sa kanilang sining. Ilan sa mga ito ay ang double axe, figure of eight, shield, at ang trident. Okay. So, dito na tayo. Pupunta na tayo sa kabihas ng Mycenaean. Kaya mo nagigutong na po po kayo. <laughs> okay. So, sa kabihas ng Mycenaean, ang mga Mycenaean ay mga katutubo or tribes na naninirahan sa paligid ng Caspian Sea. So, Caspian Sea is one of the largest lakes in the world. It's not really a sea, but it's a large lake in between um, Russia, present-day Russia, Lithuania, and Balkan states. Okay, noong 1900 BCE, lumika sila at pumunta sa Greece kung saan sila ay nagtatag ng kanilang sariling lungsod. Okay, so noon is ang Mycenae at Troy. Okay, si Agamemnon ang ang pinakatanyag ng hari na hari ng Mycenae. At si Heinrich Schliemann ang nakatuklas ng mga guhong labi ng Mycenae. Okay, sa Minoans ang nakatuklas or the uh, the archaeologists that discovered Minoan civilization was si Evans sa Mycenae si Schliemann. Okay. Um, basically, sa Mycenae, sa according po sa other source na ako, kaniyang sa Ancient Greece Doctors dot com, um, Mycenaeans, Mycenaeans are known to be 
they are known sometimes the earliest people living in Greece because they were able to uh, develop Greek language. Lahi po sa Minoans. Ang mga Minoans, magumurag, dali ra magukay sila nakakuan, kay murag, napildi sila sa mga Mycenians. So, um, Mycenians developed on mainland Greece and ruled the region from around 1600 BC to 1100 BC. They are sometimes called the first Greeks because they were able, they were the first to speak the Greek language. Okay. Ma'am, unsa tayo sinultian sa mga Minoans? Um, basically, sa kong research o sa kanang sa mga sources nga ako nabasa, walay na dipik ko sa mga language ang ilang nasturya sa Minoans. But ang mga Mycenians, they were able to develop the Greek language. They have um, evidence nga na ay nga nakasturya na sila sa Greek na language. Okay. Their largest city was called Mycenae. Again, Ang pinakamalaking uh, lungsod sa Mycenaean civilization is ang Mycenae. Spelling, M-Y-C-E-N-A-E. -E. Okay. So, punta na tayo. So, pariha sa Minoan, dagan po sila mga lungsod-estado. At isa na dito ay ang Troy. Lungsod na matatagpuan sa Turkey malapit sa Hellespont na umaman at naging makapangyarihan dahil sa lokasyon nito. Okay. Iliad, isang epiko na naganap na labanan at uminog sa kwento ni Achilles, isang mandirigmang, mandirigmang Greek at ni Hector, isang prinsipeng Trojan. So basically, um, basically my seniors are known to be fighters mga uh, sila ang bumubuo sa armed forces mga army kibali ya beto gi say lagi kan ang spartan sparta okay homer isang bulag na makata or orator na nabuhay no ikawalong siglo sa asia minor sa lokuyang turkey at sumulat ng iliad so this is the iliad and odyssey na nahukay nila nga kuan artifact this is a murag libro man at yeah this is a book um as mentioned kanina Iliad Odyssey uh, depicts the story of two um two fighters that were on journey that along the way the gusto na kalaban okay can you are you familiar of the trojan horse if you have time try uh, try to research grabe kay ni siya ka madugo good <laughs> and i believe it's one of the reasons why um, they were able to prosper good. They were able to take Mycenae. So, yan. Okay. Kulturang Mycenaean. Mayroong sarili sistema na pagsulat ang mga Mycenaean na tinatawag na Linear B. Again, the system of writing of Mycenaean is called Linear B. Nakita naman ninyo kanina? Okay. Ang mga Mycenaean ay may pinaniniwala na isang makapangyarihang Diyos na si Zeus. If you're familiar sa Netflix nga series nga Blood of Zeus, it was clearly depicted kung unsa ang um, batasan ni Zeus. <laughs> it's actually a womanizer basically. And because he's a god with so many wives, akan po kay siya na anakay na nahimong demigods. So, if you have chance to watch Netflix at the Blood of Zeus, a very good um, story. Although it was too bloody. But anyway, history is bloody, ma'am po. Okay. Ilang maka taon makalipas, ang uh, ikalabing tatlong siglo, B.C., before Christ era, ang kabiasnan ng Mycenae ay bumagsak. And nabagsak siya due to wars. They, because they want to expand their territory but then they were defeated okay so this is an example of picture ni zeus he's a shapeshifter he can turn into bird another human because he's a god okay according to um mycenaean civilization and literature okay another is not really share any the differences between minoan and mycenaean civilization Okay, if you have time, please screenshot this um, picture. Okay, screenshot sa screenshot. Okay. Minoan, hango sa maalamat na hari na si Minos ang alang ito. Okay, again, 
Minowan from the word King Minos was able, uh, uh, according to legend, he was able to create Minowan uh, civilization. According to legends. Ang Nosos, ang kabisera ng sinaunang kabiasnan. Uh, the capital of Minoan civilization is Nosos, located in Nosos. Okay? Gawa sa makinis na bato ang palasyo nito na may higit 800 na silid. So again, they are more into building structures. Mayroon din itong pater na, pa, na palalamutian ng fresco. So again, they are more into art. Minoans are more into art, especially painting. Nakipagkalakala ng mga Minoans sa ibayong dagat at sumamba sa Diyos ng kalikasan. So again, Minoans established first the kind of religious deities. 1,400 hanggang 1,200 BC, naabot na Minoan ang tugatod ng tagumpay, ngunit ito ay bumagsak marahil sa sakuna o pagputok ng vulkan o pagsalakay ng mga duyuhan. Okay, in other sources, Minoan civilization ended due to the occupation of the Mycenaean civilization. Other sources pointed out that there was a plague that wiped out their civilization. But, okay, let's stick to those um, idea. Okay, lahi, lahi good ang, ang indication sa other resources. Okay, next. Mycenaean civilization, noong ika-1900 BCE, nagsimula maglakbay ang mga Mycenaean mula gitnang Asia patungong Europe. Nagtungo sila sa Balkan Peninsula hanggang sa tuluyang Manilaan, sa Pilopinesos, isang pangway sa timog bahagi ng Greece. Natural na mandirigma ang mga Mycenaean, kaya bilang proteksyon, nagkamal sila ng mga teritoryo o sa pamamagitan ng pananalakay at pananako. Mula sa mga Minoa, natutunan ng mga Mycenaean ang pakikipagkalakalan at mapanatili ang bahagi ng kultura tulad ng sistemang pagsulat. Okay, so, class, kanina ako sa historia. <laughs> Any questions about our lesson today? Zeus is so chad also. <laughs> okay. Ma'am, <laughs> animated, ma'am. Yes? Ano sa? Sorry. Animated. Yes, katong ko ang Blood of Zeus. Yeah, it's a good ko ang mag good. Kaya kung tanong no ko atong storyahan ang life ni Zeus, kulang na ang one hour <laughs> para storyahan siya. Okay, Achilles and Patroclus. Yes, ang story nila, it's bloody. Even ka nang, okay na ang Blood of Zeus. Actually, it's not for kids. <laughs> Pero kung imog kong tanawan ng ilang history, no, it's really bloody and gory because according, di ba, as mentioned, my scenes are known to be warriors. They wanted to fight blood with blood because they wanted to expand their power and territory. And katong sa, di ba, kung kabantay mo sa sa blood of Zeus, na ay king dito ang asawa at tong, I forgot her name, nga, he's very tyrant, but Zeus, um, created the yang koan, koan siya kaya, very tyrant, they wanted, um, so, okay. <laughs> anyway, taas yung good kaayo yung, yung story. And in fact, nagkan kaayo interpretation sa mga Greeks. Kay lahi, di ba, more on literature man gani siya gika, dili man gani siya ingon nga, naka-establish gani nga, na agad sila. It's just, um, interpretation of people. Okay, so, next week, Ang atong test is kabayan atong naabitaw table. Kadungdam mo ato. Ito na ay table nga akong ipascreenshot sa inyo. Mota tong base sa atong test. And uh, ang test is about, well, lagi po essay. Ang test is about uh, the difference between Minoan and Mycenaean civilization. Okay? So, I'm hungry naman, class. Kanina na ako sigig yaw-yaw. Do you have any questions about our lesson? Okay, for those people, for those people who were not able to join the lesson, don't worry, I will upload within this day or tomorrow after ma-render na ko ni ang video sa akong YouTube channel. If those people nga wala ka-appel sa itong class, I will upload it. Okay? So, Again, quiz next meeting.